Hi there guys, it's Chris here with selfmadeinreview.com and in this video we're going to go through the best pickleball shoes currently out there today. Now I've tried to keep this list as comprehensive as possible, narrowing it down to my absolute favourites. Top 5, so no matter what you're looking for, there'll definitely be something in this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like and subscribe and turn on the bell to be updated with new videos. All right, so as usual, I'm gonna skip all the fluff and just jump right in to my recommendations. If you wanna confirm what they are, go down in the description there and check out that list to ensure you get the absolute lowest price. All right, so my first recommendation are the best pickleball shoes for com competition. And these are going to the Skechers Go Train Arc Fit. Archfit Viper. So Skechers pickleball shoes are highly underrated, I think, for how well they look and feel on the court. At the top of their lineup is the Viper Court, a performance pickleball shoe trusted by professional players like Catherine Perinto and Tyson McGuffin. I love how sharp the Viper Court looks in all black and how the silhouette veers from the common thought of pickleball shoes to be chunky and cushioned to the gills. So a few things these do really well. The first feature is the strong traction. I could feel the Goodyear tread helping me turn and pivot much better than other shoes. The second feature is better arch support, uh, what sketches call arch fit, which gives you the ability to play for long periods of the time without getting any foot pain that tend to sometimes pronate. So if you're focusing on playing competitively, I would say the Viper Court is gonna give you the best performance in the heat of the moment. And the best spot is the Viper Court is just under $100 as well. So the pros of these, under $100, comfortable and stylish, the arch fit insole for added support, strong Goodyear outsole, very low lightweight design, worn by professional players, the cons are, uh, the major sizing can sell out a bit fast, so ensure you get in uh, on these as quickly as you can. The next one on my list is my recommendation for a breathable option, and these are the Adidas Men's Game Court 2. So the most underrated pickleball shoe I would say on this list is the Game Court 2. It's ultra lightweight and breathable, making them perfect for summer. I love the array of colors the Game Court 2 has available as well, and I especially enjoyed the on-feet look of the red and white, personally. There aren't a ton of bells and whistles on these, but it has, or they have, just enough to make it a great pick in my book, we're talking airy mesh to keep your feet cool, a cushioned Eva foam midsole, and an Addy wear outsole with treaded grip so you can pivot and make quick moves. Another feature about the shoe I like is the upper material is made with 50% recycled content, so there's an eco-friendly component here as well. The qualms about this shoe are that they are not the strongest or most supportive on this list. Instead, the Game Court 2 is more of, more of a balanced shoe with priorities of being lofty and more breathable. So the pros in a nutshell, great price point, several colors available, the breathable recycled mesh feels good in hot weather, ample cushioning, and easy to get on and off. The cons are is they might wear down faster than others on this list. The next one on my list is my recommendation for a good balanced pickleball shoe, and these are the ASICS Men's Gel Game 9s. So these are ASICS' latest and greatest dedicated pickleball shoe release, and uh, they're gonna combine much of what you love about other prior models with some additional durability and support. The shoe has a mesh design and is laid with a tough synthetic overlay and a polyurethane film, uh, with PU film, uh, covers the whole front of the foot. Uh, you'll find the material to be much more abrasion resistant than what you'd think. Uh, and what's surprising is the film keeps the shoe lightweight as well. So there's an interesting balance of weight and durability uh, that I believe uh, perform well when you play pretty hard. Another special feature of this shoe that caters to pickleball players is the Trustic technology in the midsole. ASICS maintains this tech helps improve stability, which makes sense because you'll find that these are gonna be really good performance, especially with lateral movement. It's worth noting that the Gel Rama model uh, in the past also had the Trustic midsole, uh, and so a lot of the Gel Game 9 is gonna remind you of that. So if you like that model, then you're going to like upgrading to a true pickleball shoe model. So in a nutshell, the pros, trusted support and durability, polyurethane film that protects against scuffing and abrasion, cushioning gel tech, trustic midsole helps with lateral stability, and the cons, the shoe caters more to narrow feet. The next one on the list is my recommendation for extra support, and this is the K-Swiss Men's Express Light Pickleball Shoe. So you might be surprised to find K-Swiss, 
uh, at the top of the pickleball shoe market, but the brand has quietly been creating trusted game ready models for all types of price points. And you'll find that the Express Lite is one of the top supportive and strong pickleball shoes money can buy. Two main features of this shoe really gonna stand out, the 180 degree plantar support chassis and the Dura wrap cover to help combat toe dragging. The support chassis works great at keeping your feet secure while playing, giving you ample support uh, if you have high arches and also preventing your feet from twisting and rolling over inside the shoe, even when it's hot and sweaty. The Dura wrap cover is the outsole material used to combat abrasion and toe dragging and the cover is definitely hard. And so it's nice to know that you have this strong outer shell over the cushion mesh that feels very good. You will find that the shoes are quite snug though, so I'd maybe recommend going up half a size in this shoe. The design is unique and you're gonna enjoy, you know, whatever design you go with. Now it's not the fastest shoe, but it does provide great durability and support. And this is really a well-balanced model that you can play with for very long periods. So in a nutshell, the pros, the 180 degree plantar arc support chassis, uh, easy to purchase, supportive Dura wrap cover, several colors available, and secure lacing that is not gonna loosen up easily. The cons, uh, the major sizing can also sell out quite fast. And the final one on my list is my recommendation for extra security, and this is the Babolat Men's Propulse Fury 3. So strong Michelin outsoles on these, Ortholite molded insoles and attached power belt for lateral support are a few of the key reasons why you'll find the Fury 3 to be a powerful pickable shoe worthy of competitive play. Uh, you're also gonna be impressed with how breathable the upper is on this shoe considering how much padding and protection is built on it. The stack of the shoe adds some lux cushioning that other pickleball shoes on this list don't have, and you definitely get to enjoy the foam heel when it comes to uh, keeping your foot secure and comfortable. On the downside, the shoe is more generous to narrow feet, so those with wider feet will want to make uh, maybe go up half a size. The shoe is also heavy, like a traditional tennis shoe, so if you aren't used to that weight, it might throw you off a bit. Uh, but that's not to say that the weight is a bad thing because the shoe is tough enough to handle really all kinds of play. So I think this one is suitable for competitive league play or tournaments. If you're looking for something for more leisurely and comfort driven, uh, there might be better options on this list. So in a nutshell, the pros, comfortable sock-like fit, high level of cushioning and durability, a sleek design, the Michelin rubber outsoles, foam protected heel zone for shock absorption, and the power straps for support on lateral movements. The cons, not really ideal for much competitive play. And if you have uh, wide feet, I would go up a size. All right guys, so hopefully there's something on that list for you, no matter what kind of shoe you're looking for, security, more durability, more breathability. Hopefully I've included something in this list. If you do have any questions though, drop them in the comments below. And if you found value in this video, drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.